What's up everybody? It's Street Watch. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, join the notification gang. Happy holidays. It's holiday season. Fall blessings to you all. Again, welcome to my channel. Shout out to everybody that's been down with me from the beginning. I love all y'all. Y'all can catch me in the chats. Without further ado, let's get in this article. Scientists get green light to bring back dead to life with stem cells. Biotech company has been given the green light to resurrect the clinically dead using stem cells. They are attempting the reversal of death. U.S. biotechnology company called BioQuirk has been given permission to recruit 20 clinically dead patients and attempt to bring their central nervous systems back to life. They hope to eliminate patients' need to rely on machines by reanimating parts of the upper spinal cord where the lower brain stem is located to potentially energize vital body functions like breathing and heartbeats. Trial participants will have been declared certified dead and kept alive solely through life support machines. This represents the first trial of its kind and another step towards the eventual reversal of death in our lifetime, said CEO of BioQuark. The team who has been granted ethical permission from an institutional review board at the National Institutes of Health in the U.S. and India to begin trials on 20 subjects is looking to recruit patients for its reanime project as soon as possible. The team will complete a phase one trial referred to as a non-randomized proof of concept study. This will determine whether or not they will be capable of reversing clinical brain death through drug administration, nerve stimulation, and laser therapy. They'll also be looking at whether or not they can affect any changes in the meninges of the brain, layers of tissue located between the skull and the surface of the brain. Specifically, the team will be investigating improvements in the patient's pulse, blood oxygen saturation, blood pressure, and respiration. To undertake such a complex initiative, we are combining biologic regenerative medicine tools with other existing medical devices typically used for simulation of the central nervous system in patients with other severe disorders of consciousness, Pastor noted. The researchers are hoping that if they can get patients' brains to work again, and since many clinically dead can retain certain functions like processing waste, digesting nutrients, healing wounds, and growing and maturing, people will have the chance to regain some semblance of life. But for now, the team is just trying to take it one step at a time. So what y'all think about that street watch? That's why you gotta always watch the streets. Did y'all know that this was going on? Just in time for Halloween, a little spooky fact for you that scientists have been given the green light to start experimenting with bringing back the dead. Ooh, just in time for Halloween, a spooky story. Hit the comments, let me know what you think. Do you think it's ethical? Do you think it's cool? Yes, no? Peace, love y'all. I see you stalking, but you ain't